We're in Bath at the top lock and we're about to start our 150 mile paddle to London. London, baby. We, we drove from London to Bath yesterday and I'm really looking forward to, to paddling home. Usually it's just a two and a half hour train journey. But this time round, no, six it's days by paddle. And that's really exciting. I've never done that before. But she stand up paddled for the first time nine days ago. Yeah, yeah, you can tell. This is quite interesting. <laughs> Now there are 114 portages, either locks or weirs, that we need to scale over before we get to Tower Bridge. Now we've come to the fated and fabled Cane Hill Flight. 16 locks, one after the other. You're on the water! We are well behind schedule, <laughs> but at least we've got a couple of blue miles out of these scallions of the canal. How do you find that, Lenny? Oh, I'm very sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a 200 metre tunnel ahead. It's dark, there's no get out points and we've not been through a tunnel on one of these before. Gary! Pull in. Okay. What? We're aiming for Reading. We were going to be joined by a couple of lads, Ed and Jack, who devised the canoe club. <laughs> Hello, bridge time. Oh. We've got some paddle designs from class 3K at Manor School Didcot. Nice one. Good Luke. Hello, Luke. Good Luke. <laughs> Sarah and Albie. Albie's my albatross. We've just eaten a whole bag of Percy pigs. So, despite the fact that we have guests today, two stand up paddlers alongside us in Philippe and Gerard, Sarah has decided to start the day herself. She needs a poop. We're approaching Marlow and um, we must have done about 90 miles because, wait for it. Oh no, sorry, it's a sign that I'm filming. <laughs> We've paddled about 110 miles from Bath and we're about 30 from Tower Bridge. How does that make you feel? Very, very happy. Very, very happy that tea is just around the corner. <laughs> Shall we? It's got nothing to do with that, has it, eh?